Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I have an Autolite One Barrel 1100 or 1101 uh, carburetor float bowl here, and I just wanted to show you where the check ball goes. The check balls, I should say. Uh, this one happens to take four only because it has a dash pot on it. This is your accelerator pump. This is your dash pot. Uh, a lot of them just have the, the uh, accelerator pump diaphragm and no dash pot, and then that one only takes three, but this one takes four. So that's the only reason it would take four. So first of all, I want to show you this uh, check weight here. It goes in uh, uh, this hole right here, but uh, put the check ball in first, and then this goes on top of it. So if you follow the tube, the passageway from that, that goes over here to the accelerator pump. That's your intake. Okay. So that's one check ball, and then the and then the weight. We do uh, have these, by the way, if you need one. It's important you have it there. Uh, next check ball goes right here. That the outgo of the accelerator pump. Um, so uh, that's two. And then we got one that goes over here on this one. It has a, a, a spark valve. Now I'm not sure. I'll have to check into this. Uh, the ones without the spark valve may not have a place for a check ball here. So I'll look into that. Anyway, but if you have this spark valve and you got this hole right here, put a check ball in it. Uh, okay, and so last but not least, the fourth one is this one right here, and this is your uh, dash pot, and you got a check ball in here. So there's up to four. Our kits have four check balls. Uh, we also have a, uh, a uh, special kit that has four check balls uh, plus this included. So if all, that's all you need, you can buy it that way. All right, so I hope this helps you on uh, determining where all the check balls go. Thank you.